Hello, welcome to my channel. This is Sarah, and this is a coloring book review flip through for the Lizzie Mary Collin, The Magical Journey, a coloring book. This is her, her latest that's out, and I'm very excited to have this in my possession now. I um, got it in the mail today, so I'm very happy about that. Uh, the dimensions of the book are 10 by 10 inches. Um, the back of the book, there, here is the spine and the thickness of the book. This is a really thick book. I've not looked through this yet, so I'm excited to see what all it has to offer. Inside the, flint, the front flap, um, you'll see that there is a flip out area that you can color. It does have a glossy finish on here, so probably colored pencils, um, alcohol-based markers, Sharpies, things like that would be fine. Um, water-based markers, watercolor will not work on this glossy surface. So just FYI. She has an intro here. And this is really cool. Um, this is a route page, and it shows, it's numbered, and it shows the numbers of all of her stops around the world. And if you don't know how she has done this book, what she did was travel, and she got to a location and kind of drew inspiration from that location and drew from there, and then she went on to her next destination and kind of drew from there, um, hence the Magical Journey title. Um, so you can see there's one, two, three, four, five, six. So it will show you how she has gone and where exactly she stopped, which is really cool. Um, and don't forget to look up here and down here for the smaller islands. Um, here's the one half of the world, the other half of the world, and uh, a close up of the smaller islands that she stopped at. So if you couldn't find 7, 8, 9, 10, 12, 13, or 14, because <laughs> um, you can't find them on here, they will be in these two places. And the Magical Journey key right here will show you each of the lo locations from the previous map. You'll just find, like, number one here. You can turn, and it'll say... Number one was Rio, so um, you can go on down two, three, four, etc. And it will show like A is London, B is South America, C is Japan, and each one of these are are done. They have uh, letters on them as well, like A here, C, D, B. So you'll be able to to find your location on these two pages from from what she's drawing. So let's get into this flip through. I just want to give a quick shout out to Lizzie saying thank you so much for your artistic abilities and sharing that with the world. Your books are my like number one favorite books out there and I really appreciate you. If you're if you watch these reviews at all, really appreciate you drawing and sharing your illustrations with 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 the world. So thank you. Paper quality in this book is the same as the previous book, which is okay paper quality. Um, it's a thinner cardstock kind of paper. It is not printer copy paper. It is thicker than that. It will work for watercolor. I use a lot of watercolor in, in my coloring. And in her last book, I haven't tried it in this book yet, but the paper seems to be the same. So in the last book, I did a lot of watercolor and it worked fine as long as you're not drenching your page in water. So these pages will be fine for just about every medium except for alcohol based markers unless you're fine with sacrificing the page on the back. They will bleed through. So please don't use those unless you've bought a second copy of this book. I would hate for you to ruin any of the pages just because you like the alcohol markers better. That's how much I think of these books. They are just fantastic. 
I love them. I noticed on a couple of the pages she has a little paragraph or so, a few sentences on some of them, talking about, uh, like up here at the top here, it says, if you can read that. So it kind of just tells a little bit about uh, where you're at, kind of um, what she's doing, that kind of thing. Wow, what exquisite illustrations. This book feels thicker than her last book. I believe it is, maybe by a few pages. One thing I really appreciated from the last book that was out um, was that she had a test page in the back that had an illustration on it. So you could see what your colors and what your medium would do with the ink that they've used. And that that was one of the best features in the whole book, I think. So we'll see if, if that's the same in this book. Sorry about my arm shadow over here. There we go. She does have a test page with um, an illustration on there, which is so nice. Um, you'll be able to test out all your mediums, try them in different areas of this Kiwi, and just kind of see how it works on the page. She has her acknowledgments back here as well. And then, of course, she has the key to the magical journey. And then the back flap, again, has the um, somewhat plasticky coating on this, which, which again, would not be okay for any water-based medium. Um, on papers like these, I think Sharpies or alcohol-based markers are the best. Uh, it shouldn't be too bad on the other side if, if it bleeds through at all. If, if you're using it lightly, it shouldn't, should not bleed through. And that is the end. Thank you guys so much for watching. And do not forget to subscribe down there. And leave me a comment. I'm always interested to know what your favorite picture is in, in the review. Or what picture you're looking forward to coloring if you have this book. Please just share that with me. Kind of start a conversation down below. And I hope to see you in my other posts. And... Thank you for watching and happy coloring.